who was yeah. your idol? Do, do you do you have it? Did you have an idol? Did you have yeah. videos of who? Who? Oh, you? Oh, you do? Okay. I oh, yeah. Okay, 100%. tell us. Uh, Ilabaka, Daniel Ilabaka, hundred percent. Uh, no, no doubt in my mind. Um, Daniel Ilabaka was my number one idol. He just like the way, the way that he moved. It didn't even matter what he was doing. Just the way he mm-hmm. moved was hundred percent the in my opinion like the epitome of movement he just did it so well um there were there were other guys that like i would take inspiration from obviously uh and and it ever evolving right like there was um it, it depended on the time the only one that's like timeless i would say had to be ilabaka shade uh shades lot who yeah doesn't doesn't train so much or doesn't post so much anymore i hate saying i hate saying i hear people say oh yeah i don't think he trains anymore i'm like well he doesn't post anymore i i ain't gonna talk on if he trains or not because like i'll go months without posting but like i'm still training every day uh but but yeah like those those guys definitely um stas as well um pasha not so much not to like the biggest extent but that was also just because I loved like his old stuff and then he like kind of took off and it was like almost too mainstream. And I was like, ah, I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then, and then, you know, as, as I went, it was just like whoever was basically in my opinion, the best at the time. So like Alfred Scott was up there. DK was up there. Yeah. Um, yep. Right now watching any Ellis tour hall, any uh, Evan storm, um, Nico Van Hole is crazy uh matma i really like watching i i mean i could i could make like a huge list right now but as far as like idols coming up it, it had to be Ilabaka. that was number one yeah uh jason can we go back to split screen uh for a bit uh yeah no Ilabaka. there's there's no doubt he was um to me it was always like david bell and then it was kind of like for a while there was like Ilabaka was number two and there was a yeah. um, they did some interview or you know some meeting where Ilabaka went to lease and he and david chit-chatted and I don't know if they had some interpreter because they don't speak the same language, but it was it was kind of like fitting in a lot of ways. It felt like he was the next, he was, like the torch was passing to him in some in some weird way, in some awesome way. It's like like where David was power, Ilabaka was like water or something. There's something about it's like like the Fred Astaire of parkour was like Ilabaka. Anyway, now he's doing rollerblading stuff. You know, yeah, uh, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. He's, he's like one of those people that like got to the top of the mountain and was like, all right. Well, I'm here. Where do I go now? Well, I find another mountain or something, you know, or do Dude, something else for fun. You know, I, I I'm not gonna lie, I get that heavily. Yeah. That, really, that's yeah. actually that's actually a big reason why I stopped competing because like it was just getting like monotonous almost. I was like, it, it was going on the third year, I think, of just like traveling a ton, and mm-hmm. like traveling kind of lost its appeal. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. I gotta go get on another plane for another. 12 hours to go like sit in a hotel room explore a little bit but also be jet lagged like crazy i can't go out too much because i got to prepare for the competition i gotta like have my practice times like i don't know it it was getting a little bit monotonous and i was like okay three years down i i'm going to this next competition for a shot at fifteen hundred dollars (laughs) yeah like what the (laughs) Dude, <laughs> like, uh, if you love competing, I guess it's for you. But if you yeah. don't, it's like there's not much incentive for it, right? And, I mean, that, maybe... and to me, it was like, okay, I I had gone to every competition that I wanted to. I had podium to every competition that I wanted to. Those were like my dreams. That mm. was done. Um, the next competitions that were coming up were either just the same one again, mm. which didn't excite me, or a new one that I didn't care about because it was never like a goal, right? <laughs> And so it kind of felt like I was like, okay, I did, I did what I wanted to with competing. Um, now what's next? And that what's next, I still don't know. 